The Clipper race is back on the water after a colourful stopover in Da Nang, Vietnam. In addition to the sightseeing, crew had to ensure their large 70-foot ocean racing yachts were fully maintained for the challenging conditions ahead in race 8, the sailing Qingdao Cup. And the pressure is on for the Qingdao team. It's an upwind race. Um, obviously, that takes a bit of a beating on the boats and a bit of a beating on the crew, uh, which is completely different from the last leg where well, we were downwind on the spinnakers and uh, it'll be unlikely the spinnakers uh, come out the bag except for maybe the race start. But first, a lavish final ceremony to bid the teams farewell, especially home team Da Nang, Vietnam. I'm representing my Da Nang city and with my crew and repre representing Clipper Race here. It's just, it's, it's just been an honour. It really has felt like an honour because it's just such a big deal here and we're part of it and we are the big deal. So it's just been incredible. It's more than 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> Ceremony complete. The fleet departed the Han River port and headed for the Vin Pearl Resort start line close to the Da Nang Beach. The fleet raced a short circuit before heading out northeastwards towards Taiwan and strong, unforgiving headwinds which create uncomfortable conditions as the boat slams off waves and strong currents, testing every inch of the yachts. So we're going to have wind against current, which makes for not pleasant conditions. It's going to be tough, and everybody knows it's tough. So just having our skippers, my, my, sorry, my crew briefing then, everyone's slightly subdued, everyone's worried about seasickness, um, how the boat's going to hold up. The boat's built to go through this, but we've got to look after the boat more now than any other time. It's going to be tough, really tough. The search for sea legs is having mixed success as teams brave the challenging conditions. Qingdao is battling to make progress and is well aware of the fact they're now the focus of a lot of attention in China and the big welcome celebrations being prepared at the end of this 1700 nautical miles race, which will take around two weeks to complete. I've heard all along that Qingdao do a great reception and they really look forward to their, their boat arriving in, in uh, Qingdao. And uh, the crew are excited, we're looking forward to it and uh, I think it's going to be a great cultural uh, visit for us uh, to see how China works and how the Chinese people are and uh, you know bring it on we're, we're looking forward to it very much and for Chinese crew member Kevin Zhu the prospect of reaching China after six months at sea is creating strong emotions yeah, yeah because I have uh, in foreign country for over six months and this leg from Da Nang to Qingdao I will although Qingdao is my, not my hometown but China is my hometown China is my motherland and I was so exciting and I cannot say exciting. I, I think excited is not a word can um, express my feeling well. I can say uh, excited, nervous, worried, happy, a lot of words. Teams are split in their tactics, deciding when to tack north to get the best wind angle to Taiwan, with some already much further north, while others are much further east, closer to the coast of the Philippines. With 1,200 nautical miles still to go, the field is wide open for the sailing city, Qingdao Cup.